season replays, the fantasy drafts, ultimate creative leagues, and what if the tournament? It's Coffee Cup Games with the coach DKM. Hey, 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 it's coach DK. We're continuing our series with a replay of the year 1900 using Stratomatic. It is Saturday, October 13th, 1900, and in our calendar, that means Game 6 of the American League and the National League Championship Series. In the American League, you got the number 7 Buffalo Bulls leading the series three games to two over the number one seed of Chicago Invaders. But the series is going back to Chicago for the final two games, so Buffalo has an uphill battle to wrap up the series in the National League. We got the number one seeded Brooklyn Superbas leading the series three games to two against the number three St. Louis Cardinals. Brooklyn, who is 11 and three in the playoffs overall, six and zero at home undefeated, has two games to wrap up the series and represent the National League in the Diamond Cup or the World Series. And our first game today will be from the National League. We got number three St. Louis Cardinals visiting the number one Brooklyn Superbas, as mentioned. Brooklyn leading the series three games to two and is undefeated at home. On the mound for St. Louis, we got right-hander Jack Powell. He went 18-13 and 13 during the regular season with a 4.34 ERA. He was one of their most frequent starters with 42 games started. In the postseason, he was 3-1 with a 5.04 ERA. For Brooklyn, a surprise start as they send South Paul Jerry Knops. He went 7-5 with a 2.05 ERA during the regular season. In the postseason, he has only pitched in one game for only one inning. And the starting lineups for both St. Louis and Brooklyn. No changes for St. Louis, as you can tell. Uh, John McCraw is leading off. McGann, the first baseman, batting second. Perquette, the left fielder, with 16 RBIs, batting third. Mike Dolan, seven home runs, 25 RBIs. The right fielder, batting fourth. Robinson getting uh, the start at catcher with only one at bat. Keister, the second baseman. He's going to be batting sixth. Wallace, the Hall of Famer, struggling, hitting only 219, batting seventh. Hedrick, the center fielder, hitting 353 with nine stolen bases, batting eighth. And Jack Powell, the pitcher, batting ninth. For Brooklyn, three Hall of Famers all leading the way. For Brooklyn, Kelly, third baseman, hitting 397, will be leading off. Shepard, the left fielder, with nine stolen bases, batting second. We Willie Keeler, hitting 438 with 17 RBIs, batting fourth. Fielder Jones, struggling in center field, batting fourth, hitting 231. Huey Jennings, first baseman, hitting 357. Daly, the second baseman, hitting 277. Duke Farrell, the catcher, batting 220. And Bill Dolan, the shortstop, struggling at 167, batting eighth. And Knops, the pitcher, will be batting ninth. And it's a beautiful day at Washington Park, two in Brooklyn as Jerry Knops gets ready to take the mound. John McGraw at bat, hitting 283. The third base Hall of Famer is going to lead off the game with a single to left as Jimmy Shecker is going to throw that to the cutoff man. Here's McGann hitting 226. He's going to get a single. So runners on the corner, two quick bats against Knops. Burkett, the Hall of Famer hitting 362, is going to hit a fly ball to Keeler in right field. It is going to be deep enough for a sacrifice fly as that's going to score McGraw. So they get a run early. Donlin, the, hall, uh, the power hitter, is going to line out to Kelly. And McGann gets caught running the second. And that's going to be a double play. Ha! Got he! As that's going to end the inning. Bottom of the first, Joe Kelly, the Hall of Famer, hitting 397 with nine RBIs. He's going to lead off with a fly out to Jesse Burkett in left field. That's going to be one down. Next up is Jimmy Shackard hitting 296 in the postseason. He needs a 1 to 8. He's going to get a 17, so that's going to be a line out the first, 2 down. Next up is we Willie Keeler. He's hitting 438. He's going to hit a ground ball to Bobby Wallace. Whoopsies! Who's going to make an air, and Keeler is able to get to first base on the air, so we're going to try to steal. He does not get a good lead with only a 45% chance. We're not going to test it. Fielder Jones is up. He's going to line out to McCann at first, and that's going to end the inning. Uh, excuse me, top of the second. Robinson, the catcher's up with a rare start. He's going to hit a ground ball back to Knops. That's going to be one down. Here's Keister hitting 319. He's going to hit a ground out to Dolan short. So that's going to be two away. Now Bobby Wallace, Hall of Famer, he's going to be up. He's going to hit a foul ball. And that's going to be brought in by Farrell for the third out. Bottom of the second, Huey Jennings is up. He's hitting 357. 
having a good postseason. He's going to hit a ground ball to Keister. A second, that's going to be one down. Daly, the second baseman's up. He's going to be strikeout, as that's going to be Powell's first strikeout of the game. Duke Farrell is up the catcher. He's going to hit a single with two outs, and that's going to put him on base, and that's going to bring up Dolan, who's hitting only 167. He's going to need a 1-12. to 12. He gets a 3, so he's going to get a triple. So Farrell and Dolan, who have struggled in the postseason, come with back-to-back -back hits and tie the game at 1. Knobs is up. He's going to get a single to help his own cause, scoring in Dolan. And so they now take the lead 2-1. to one. Top of the order, Kelly, with two outs. As we have a nice little two-out rally going. He needs a 1-12. to 12. He's going to get a 7 as he pulls it down the line. And Knops is going to go for third. And Kelly is able to go to second. Knops gets sent home, and he scores. So a two, excuse me, a double by Kelly as we've gotten four straight hits. With two outs, Jimmy Shackard is up. He's going to hit a fly ball to left field, but we now lead three to one. Top of the third, Hedrick is up. He's hitting 353. He needs a one to 10. That looks like a ballpark uh, effect there. One to 10 is going to be the number. He gets a two, so he's on base. He's going to try to get a lead. And instead, Powell is going to lay down a bunt, and Knops, the pitcher, makes an error trying to pick it up. So Powell is safe at first, and Hedrick now on second with no outs. Top of the order, McRaw, he's one for one with a single. He's going to get another single. That's going to load the bases. As the bases are juiced, no outs, and they got the two, three, and four hitters coming up. McGann, who singled his first time up, he had, he's a 1-14. to 14. He's going to get an 11, so that's going to score a single run, and the bases are still loaded. Knops struggling. Looks like he may not have made the right decision sending him in. And Burkett needs a 1-4, to four, and that's going to be a single. Another run scores, and now power hitter Mike Donlin is up. He needs some numbers. He's going to get a fly ball to Keeler in right field, who's going to have to make a play. And he drops it, as that's going to be an air two-run score. As now, St. Louis leads 5-3. to three. And now Robinson is up. Robinson's going to pop out the first to Jennings. That's going to be the first out of the inning, as they've already gotten four runs and still have runners on second and third. Keister up. He's going to be hit by a pitch. And so the bases are loaded again. Wallace is up. The Hall of Famer hitting 215. He needs a one. He gets a 15. So lucky for us, um, that could have been a grand slam. Jimmy Shecker is going to go back. He's going to make the play. But they are going to get the run scored. As that's going to give them the fifth run of the inning. Hedrick now up. He's going to line out the third to Kelly to end the inning, but St. Louis gets five runs in the top of the third and now lead six to three. We Willie Keeler is up. He's hitting 431. He's 0 for 1. He did get on base, though, with the air. He's going to hit a fly ball to left field to Jesse Burkett, and that's going to be one down. Fielder Jones hitting only 226. He's going to get a hit, so uh, he definitely needs to start pulling his weight. He's on base. He's going to try to steal. See if he can get a good lead. He gets back to the base barely. And she's not going to get a good lead. And going to stay a little bit closer. Huey Jennings is up, hitting 351. He needs a 1 to 10. He gets an 8. So now we got runners on first and second with Daly up. He's hitting 271. Daly is going to be strikeout. Daly struck out for the second time in the game. And now Duke Farrell's up. Duke Farrell been struggling in the postseason, but he is one for one. Today, he's going to hit a fly ball to center field to Hedrick, leaving runners on first and second for the third out. So after three, it is six to three. St. Louis has six runs on six hits and has committed one error. Brooklyn has three runs on six hits, and they've committed two errors. Jack Powell, the pitcher's up. He got on base the last time on an error. He's going to ground out to Jennings. So that's going to be one down the crawl, two for two. He's going to get a walk. So he's on base for the third time today. And now McCann's up. <clears throat> He's going to hit a ground ball to Jennings at first. He's going to take the fielder's choice. And so that'll be two down. Burkett is up. He's going to hit a ground ball to Donald. He's going to flip it on over to Daly at second for the force out. And that's going to be the third out 
bottom of the fourth. Dowlin is up. The shortstop, he's one for one with a triple. He needs a one to six for a triple again. He gets a 13, so it is going to be a single. We're going to try to see if he can get a steal here. He does not get a good lead. And we're going to bring in, I think, a pinch hitter as Knopf's has struggled so far. So we're going to bring in Doc Casey, who pretty much just gets hit by pitches. <laughs> so he's going to hit a ground ball to McCraw at third base. McCraw's going to have to make a play. Whoopsies! He does not, as Casey gets on base on the air. So we have runners on first and second. Joe Kelly up, top of the order, no outs. Joe Kelly is going to hit a triple. He has a double already. That he scored an RBI, or scored a run, and now he's got a triple that's going to knock in two. So we now close the gap to six to five with Kelly on third base. Infield is in. Jimmy Shepard's up. He's hitting only 286. He's going to hit a ground ball, but with the infield in, he's going to get through, and Kelly's going to score as Shepard gets a single. So the game is tied. Shepard is going to try to steal. You're out! And he is going to be thrown out at second for the out. So the first out of the game, or for the inning, Keeler now up. He's hitting 424. He's 0 for 2 today. He's going to line out the short to Wallace. And that's going to be two down. And now Fielder Jones is up. He's sitting 241. He's 1 for 2. He's going to hit a fly ball in the opposite direction. And Jesse Burkett's going to be there to pull that one in. We bring in Frank Kitson, the guy that we did not start originally. Frank Dolan's up. He's going to line out the second, so that's going to be one down. Robinson up. He is needs a 1-12. to 12. He gets an 8, so that's going to be good enough for a double. As he's on second base in scoring position with Keister, the second baseman up, hitting 315 over 1 today. He's going to hit a ground ball to Jennings at first. Jennings has to make a play. And he does, so he gets the second out as he tags the bag himself, but Robinson advances the third. Bobby Wallace is up. He's gotten a foul out and a sacrifice fly. He needs a one to ten. He gets a six. So Robinson's going to score as St. Louis takes the lead back. Every inning we have runs being scored. Wallace on first. Hedrick is up. And Wallace gets caught off the bag on the pickoff. <laughs> Got so that's going to be the third out. As we now go into the bottom of the fifth, Brooklyn's Huey Jennings, the Hall of Famer, is up. He's hitting 362. He's one for two today. He's going to line out the short. That's going to be one down. Daly, the second baseman's up. He's going to line out the keister a second. And Daly's going to be hurt on the play. Ouchie. So now with two outs, Farrell's up. He's one for two. And it looks like there's going to be a play with the catcher as McDonald's. Robinson grabs the ball in foul territory, and that's going to be the third out. So we bring in Lave Cross for the injured daily. Cross is going to go to third. Kelly's going to go to first, and Jennings is going to go to second. Top of the sixth, Kitson on the mound still. He's going against Hedrick, the center fielder. He's hitting at 357. He's one for two today. He's going to hit a fly ball to Keeler in right. That's going to be one down, and now Jack Powell's up. They're going to bring in a pinch hitter as he's allowed six runs in five innings of work. Otto Kruger, another guy who just seems to get on base, but this time he's going to line out the cross at third. That's going to be two down. McGraw, two for two with a walk. He's been on base every time. This time he's not, though, as he grabs out the third for a one, two, three inning. Bottom of the six, Dallin is up. He's two for two with a triple and a single. He's going to fly ball to Hedrick in center. Hedrick's able to make that play, and that's going to be one down. Kitson, the pitcher, is up. He needs to try to see if he can do anything here to help him zone calls, but he's going to hit a ground ball to McCann at first, and that's going to be two down. And now Kelly, who's two for three with a double and a triple, is going to ground out, and that's going to end the inning. So after six, it is seven to six, St. Louis winning. St. Louis has seven runs on eight hits. They've committed two errors. Brooklyn has six runs on nine hits, and they've committed two errors as well. Top of the seventh, McGann, the first baseman, is up. He's hitting 250. He's going to hit a ground ball to cross at third, who came in for Daly. And it's going to be a single as he throws it away a little bit late, and McGann's able to take second on the air on the throw. 
So runner in scoring position, Burkett, the Hall of Famer's up. He's in 366. He's going to draw a walk. That may not be a bad thing for us, except for the fact that we got Mike Donlin coming to bat with his seven home runs and 26. Bruh. And Donlin gets his eighth home run, his fourth RBI of the game, as he hits a long shot over right center. A three-run blast for Mike Donlin as he continues to have an incredible postseason. No outs. Robinson's up. He's one for three with a double. He needs a one to ten. He gets the ten. That's going to be a hit. Keister up. He's going to rip a single, so we need to make a pitching change as they have runners on first and second. Already given up three runs in this inning. We need somebody else to come in and help save the day. We're going to bring in Harry Howe, our reliever, our closer. Even though it is the seventh inning, we need somebody to stop the bleeding. He's facing Hall of Famer Bobby Wallace, and his first batter he faces, he walks. As now the bases are loaded with no outs, he jerks up. He's one for three. He's going to hit a fly ball to right field to Keeler. Robinson's going to be tagging. We're going to try to get the runner. Safe! And he scores as the throw is just late. And now all runners advance. So runners on second and third. Thomas, the pitcher, is up. Surprised that they're going to let him in. And Thomas hits a dribbler in front of the home plate as Farrell pulls that one in and throws it. McGraw is up. We're going to walk him as he's two for three and gets on base a lot. We're going to go against McGann, who is three for four with three singles so far. He's going to hit a ground ball to Jennings at second. And it's going to be another single with an air. You're killing me, Smalls! Hmm. All three runs score. Huh. McGann on third after the th single and the throwing errors by Jennings. Burkett is up. He's going to hit a fly ball to center field. The inning is finally over. As St. Louis gets seven runs. And the inning started off by Mike Donland. Home run. Bottom of the seventh, Jimmy Shecker is up. The left fielder, he's hitting 298. He's going to hit a fly ball to center field. Every hit, every out matters. As we have a huge obstacle to overcome, we will a killer who is 0 for 3. He's, man, struggling in this one. He's 0 for 4. And that's going to be two down. Fielder Jones is going to hit a ground ball to McCann at first. And that's going to be a 1 2 3 inning. And now Dolan's up, the power hitter. He's got four RBIs, including that huge. Three run blast last inning. He's going to get out though. That's going to be one down. Robinson, the catcher, who got the surprise start, he actually is two for four, but he's going to be two for five. He grabs out to Kelly at first. Keister is going to hit a ground ball to first. That's going to be the third out. So a one, two, three inning, bottom of the eighth. We have six out to make up eight runs. Huey Jennings, the second baseman in 356, he's going to lead us off, but he's going to be struck out. So one down. Lave Cross is up. Third, playing third, he's going to hit a ground ball to McCann. That's going to be two down. Now Duke Farrell's up. He's going to get a single, so hoping to get a two-out rally started here. Dolan, who's two for three, he's going to hit a ground ball to Keister, who is a horrible defensive player. Whoopsies! And that's going to be an error. So runners on first and second, and we're going to have to take advantage of the opportunity and bring in a pinch hitter. We bring in Deacon McGuire to come in and try to see if he can keep this two-out rally going. And it's going to be a wild pitch by Tom Thomas. Great name, Mom and Dad. <laughs> that uh, is going to allow Dolan and Farrell to get the second and third. So runners in scoring position. And Deacon McGuire comes through as he needs a 1-10 to 10 for a triple. Anything else is a double. He gets a 4. So he's able to knock in two runs. And now we're at the top of the order with Joe Kelly. Unfortunately, Joe Kelly is going to be strikeout. And that's going to end the inning. We do get two runs back, but we still trail 14-8. to eight. And we're going to bring in Joe Yeager, who has not seen any postseason action yet. 
The right-hander is going to be facing Bobby Wallace, the Hall of Famer. Not quite the matchup he probably would want to see. Even though Wallace is only hitting 227, and he's going to ground out to Kelly at first for one down. Hedrick, one for three. He needs a one. He's going to get a five, so that's going to be an out. And now Thomas, the pitcher's up there, going to let him hit, um, and he's going to be strikeout. So bottom of the ninth, trailing 14 to eight. Last chance for the Superbas. Jimmy Shepard hitting 293. He's one for four today. He needs a one to 10. He's going to get a seven. So he's on base. And now we got Wee Willie Keeler, who's 0 for four today. He's got to be able to get a hit. He needs a one to 11. He gets a 20. So he is an 0 for today. And now Fielder Jones is up. Fielder Jones is going to pop out the third base. That's going to be two down. As we're down to our last batter, Huey Jennings, the second baseman, hitting 351 for four today. He needs a one. He doesn't get it. He gets a 15, which is good enough for a triple. And that's going to score a run. Jimmy Shepard scores. Huey Jennings on third base. Lave crosses up the third baseman, hitting 286. He's 0 for 1 today. And he's going to hit a shot to Keister at second, who's able to snag that one. And that's going to end the game as St. Louis wins this one easily 4-9 to nine, with huge innings in the third and the seventh. And now tie the series three games apiece. Obviously, game seven will be taking place in Brooklyn. The uh, managerial decisions that I made probably were not the best to go with Jerry Knopps as well as to leave Frank Kitson in a little bit too long. Such an idiot! All right, so that's all we got for this episode. Obviously, National League Game 6. St. Louis wins at 14-9. Brooklyn's first loss at home in the playoffs. Series now tied three games apiece. Next time, we'll be doing Game 6 from the American League, where the number 7 seed Buffalo Bulls will be visiting the number 1 Chicago Invaders. The Chicago Invaders hoping to win at home and extend until Game 7 as Buffalo hopes to wrap it up. Until next time. This is Coach TK. Have a good one. Bye.